Yeah. You just found a beautiful button? No, it's certainly not a glass one. Oh. The apple one she's one. even doing it while she's eating her lunch. Mm. <laughs> Film number two. Stop for lunch. Oh, not stop for lunch. Because Kate's still doing it. Let's see how we do here. Yeah, glass or plastic? Glass, but it's pretty. Yeah. Shame, it's beautiful. Oh, and it's barely, no, it's barely broken, just the end. Look, that's the shape it was. Oh, what is it? It's a button. Oh, that's beautiful. That is, it's really lovely worn too. Oh, oh yeah, just that broken bit. It's Wonderful, like a, first Yeah, like a leaf or something? Yeah. And the Daltons? Brilliant. It's a really worn little stopper. Pretty piece of you could sponge wear. That's very pretty. Just sort of a very yellow bead. <laughs> oh yes, I can see it from here. How yellow that is. It is very yellow. I think it's a bead. Can't tell if it's got a hole in the other end or if it's a hat pin. Oh. I don't, oh. I don't know what it is. <laughs> I don't think it's a bead. It is a bead, it's got a hole the way through. Yeah. It's just got a stone stuck in it. Yeah. <laughs> Look at this cool bead. That's another bead. A little red one. Oh, not so little. Oh. It's a nice one. It's bead day. Bead beach. An ear. Foreign. So there's a nice piece of glass for our project. And underneath it, I think. Oh, it's half a bead. Half a bead. Oh well. Blue and white spatter glass. Spatter glass. That's beautiful, yeah, but blue and white. Finding any beads, but look at that beautiful pink and yellow piece of glass. Oh, <laughs> literally just as I said, I wasn't finding any beads. That one? <laughs> it's a small red one. There we go with a tiny bead. Yep, let's begin the bead day. A good petal. Flower of art glass. So many beautiful pieces of art glass. <laughs> it looks like a marble, you can see it's got all the colours in it to show you better when we get home. Teeniest, tiniest red bead. Seed bead. Seed beads are always very good though. Hey. Beautiful. It's all about the beads at the moment. That's a beautiful blue bead though, it's beautiful. That could be something cool. Look. Oh! <laughs> oh! Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> Is it a marble? I think it's going to be a beautiful marble. That is beautiful. That is a beautiful marble. That is a beautiful marble. Wow, you need to get it wet. Oh, that's lovely. Oh, glass fine day then. so tiny is that natural or is it glass and is it complete oh, looks it's, gl it's glass 
Oh, oh my gosh. What's that? A bead button? A bead. That's beautiful bead. Isn't that lovely? It's a tiny little green flower. Or... It sort of looks like a succulent. This beach really does have the best beads. It does have the best beads. You could almost make that into a tiny succulent plant in the doll's house. Is that a southern railway button? I think it is. It's seen better days. You can still see the SR. Wonderful. It's not a bead. I think that is half of a bone button form. Oh, I think it is. Yeah, so it probably would have had... It's either just... Oh, it's only got one hole, so yeah, it probably would have had um, silk or thread wound around it through the hole. Beautiful. Very tactile. The white bead. It's a chunky one. What is that? Ooh. I think it's the end of a hat pin. It looks like a smarty. <laughs> we have a few of these. We really should fix them. We should buy it. We've got a few blank ones. I think uh, I think that might be a craft that we'll do. We'll put ends on all our hat pins and then get like a pin cushion to stick them in. I think that would look really lovely. But that is a beautiful one. Is that a bead? Yes. Tiny little red one. Unfortunately, that is a broken bead. Oh, a really amazing broken bead. Oh no, that would have been stunning. Oh, it's like spotty with different colours. Oh well, does that have writing on it? Oh, it's a button. Oh, I think it does. I think it's one of those ones that has a fox on it. I did find out what they were, but I've forgotten. Amazing though. Another broken bead. Oh, that one would have been beautiful. Sorry, the sun's gone in. Blue one. Still definitely come in handy and still a beautiful thing. And actually, it's still usable as a bead. We can still put it on the bead string. And then there, tiny, tiny bugle cane bead will be perfect for a doll be a bead doll arm. A silver spoon? Literally. Look at that spoon. <laughs> oh that I even put my box down. My hat pin. Don't roll off now. Let's look at the spoon. Look at that! That is so fine. Is that worn away? I suppose it has, but that is beautiful. That's such... That's really nice. I like that. I don't know why, but I do. Beautiful spoon. Part of a spoon. <laughs> Ooh, wow. It's got like a... Oh my gosh. That is beautiful. Is it a stone? No, maybe, yeah. It's got a sort of texture, isn't it? Yeah. Mottled effect. Wow. And the spoon. <laughs> so <is> pretty. <laughs> wow. And the red thing that we think might have been something. It, yeah, I think it's got a slight shape to it. It was yeah. something, but it's been worn away. Oh, shadow. Nice piece for the project. Nice straight lines, make it easy. Here's a piece of melted glass, but look at the the lines. It's very 
pretty. You can bead or is it supposed to look like that? Ooh. I can't tell. Beautiful though. It's got... Nice. How many beads is that now? Bead. 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 It's got a little red button. Is it going to have something pretty on the other side? Ooh. Yep. I love these buttons so much. They're so detailed. It's got so many different patterns on that one. I think you were doing a button quilt on that one would be great. I've come scrambling up the beach because under this rock is a very interesting shape and colour. I think it might be broken. I think it might have been a fish. It's a broken fish bead. Oh, that is devastating. That's heartbreaking. Oh, <laughs> I found a broken fish bead. Oh no. The head's not there. Uh. <laughs> oh well, there's something else. Is this uh. also something? Oh, is that a stone or is it a... Just a stone. Oh. Look at that beautiful slag. Oh, just as the sun's gone in. Oops, a crab. There's also a bead. Oh, it's a white faceted one. That's somewhat unusual. They usually want this like this, a black. Oh, beautiful. I wonder if it's UV. It might be. I'll add it to the collection. That sort of looks like marble tesserae. Oh, it is. Wow, I've never found any of that before. I found some marble tesserae. Huh? Like marble. Oh, really? Yeah, with the veins. Oh, nice. Lovely. It would be in the dark in the garden. Yeah. Plastic or glass? If it's glass, it's very exciting. Um, oh, I can't tell. It's glass. What have you found? A glass leaf, yeah. but like a, like at the end of a hat pin leaf, proper glass leaf. So it's a hat pin. Yeah. But we need it as a leaf. I I don't know. <laughs> it's beautiful though. Oh, it's beautiful. It's so delicate. Looks like a lettuce leaf. <laughs> wow. I absolutely love that. I really thought it was plastic. <laughs> Amazing. Is that... Ooh, is that... That's had yeah. <laughs> is that just broken glass or is it... Oh! Have you found some... <laughs> I've just found something very Ooh. nice. <laughs> Ooze and ours. <laughs> yeah, very nice. Um, it's alright, it's a glass fatted bead, but it's sort of worn, so it looks beautiful. What did you find? Mine is, I, I don't know. It's like a um, red slash orange faceted rectangles cabochon. Oh, red and orange. Well, it's sort of, yeah, it's like Here, I'm coming. <laughs> Yeah, I thought it was just a broken piece of red glass. I don't know what it would have been from. from no, you see mine? Yes, okay. Oh, it's only, it's only green no, bees. that's lovely. There's nothing compared to that, though. Oh, but it's so big. It's a worn, And too. it's such a pretty colour. And there's my mushroom. Oh, Christmas. Oh, oh my <laughs> God. <laughs> yeah, it does look like a mushroom. There's another bead walking away from Kate. I just said, no, it's a bead. <laughs> another bead. This is definitely the bead day. Oh, yeah. Big, beautiful beads. Bead, try and say that. Sorry, try and say that in a hurry. <laughs> oh, did, this what is else? a bead, but here's my uh, hat pin leaf. <gasps> yeah. yeah, when I said it was a leaf, it's probably a leaf, isn't it? Oh, no, that's going to be... That's going to be really difficult to decide, isn't it? I know. It? 
bit. All the Do you want to put it in your padded box? Oh, well. But it's, oh, it's over there. <laughs> it's over by my bag. <laughs> Something else. This spot seems to be good. Ooh. Oh, I think it's a... No, I think it's... Um... It's a cabazon, but it's broken. Oh, no. No? Is it a bead? Oh, it is a bead! It's got the hole going all the way through, it can be used as a bead. Yeah, your hands are filthy, it's all green. <laughs> Everything's all the greens. Wow, this is a good productive spot. It is. Okay, we're aiming for 50 beads. Uh, we've done 100 beads in a day before, but they were tiny. But they, these, most of these beads are big beads. A big white bead. Whites and greens. We've got a bit bead excited. <laughs> Is that a bead? Is it broken? Ooh. Oh, it's a petal, I think. I think it's a glass petal. Oh. Still handy though and useful. Very pretty. Petal or bow? I think it's a petal there. That looks exciting. Oh, is that a bead? I think, is it a bead? It is a bead. A beautiful square flat bead. It's really nice. <laughs> Look. I've got to keep looking while I get to my bag though. I'm gonna count the beads. I'm gonna count the beads. So I don't want to miss any beads. Oh, oh! <laughs> one of those check ones. Yeah, it's beautiful. It's it's not not yeah, yeah, it's got a flower on it. It's one of the check ones. Do we have a blue one of those? I think, I think we we have, we have we have a blue one. Wow, that is a that is an amazing bead. Look that how is, dirty my hands are. <laughs> that is a stunning bead, though. I can't. What? 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 Oh, we'll look at Don't ever look away. Look. <gasps> I can't even show them that. Oh my goodness! <laughs> there you go. That's another one. Oh my goodness. Okay, you're going to have to take that to your box. I'm going to get my box. Yeah. <laughs> Do you count broken ones? No. Not even my broken fish one. No. doesn't look that many, but... Decorative buttons and hat pins and ends and some really lovely broken beads like my fish and this one, look, that's yellow and oh. it's blue, it would have been spotty. They're stunning. Yeah. But we can't count them. No. I mean, I've got a beautiful marble, we can't count that. Yeah, either. and all my like beautiful buttons and hat pins. <laughs> yeah, and Cabochons beautiful hat pins. And but 20 beads, 30 to go, let's go. Pretty metal button. Ooh, very thin. Lovely. Blue as a tile, or a big square bead that's been melted. Do a triangle. Look what I just found. A spoon, a spoon, a tiny It almost matches yeah. the... I don't know what it is about spoons. Oh, yeah, I do love them. Yeah. That is a really old piece of tin glaze. That's beautiful. I wonder what would have been on that. That's massive. This is weird. This is really weird. Oh, that is so Art Deco. Oh, goodness. <laughs> Wow! <laughs> That's like out of an Odeon cinema. <laughs> that is amazing. It's like my thing. I know. Like inlays or? I don't know. That is amazing. That Goodness. is right. Yeah, that is beautiful. Not a bead though. No, it's not a bead. <laughs> <laughs> That's a piece of watercolour. Watercolour paint. Very useful for what we've got to do. Okay, is that going to be broken? What do you think, Kate? Oh, 
Oh, no, I'd say, oh. <laughs> I don't know. <gasps> Eddie! <Yay! laughs> mm. Is he broken? No, that's no. his hand. He's just, got his just, fingers just... and it's almost Oh, there, oh, I see, yeah. Huh. Nice. Wonderful. It's not a bead, though. It's not a bead, but it's a brilliant design. <laughs> oh, Kate. Okay, sounds like mum sound something exciting. <gasps> oh my <gasps> word! <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh! What's it got? It's got something. It's, it's got something on it. Does it? What's it got on it? It doesn't have a moon, does it? I don't know. writing <laughs> must be perfume then yeah oh. Oh my. It, it, it is a moon it's a moon around the letters it's like a crescent moon outside oh my gosh it is that's, on both research. sides oh yeah, my word guys. that is that's the best opera we've ever found yes, I think just, I think so they could go in the doll's house couldn't it yeah. it's small enough I think that is the best opera we've ever found it's beautiful, it possibly. <gasps> yeah. It's cobalt blue for a start. It's tiny oh, and it has writing. Blue. Yeah. It's got writing and a moon. Oh my gosh. I am, yeah, very quite happy with that. <laughs> what does it say? I can't read it. Can I read it with my glasses? French. It says sans. Oh, it's probably French, yeah. Sans. Yes. Yeah, the Nui's night, isn't it? <gasps> oh, that's why it's a moon. Sans oh, in, yeah. Sans, 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 in the night. Wow. Wow. That's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I turn you on and look. Oh, it's broken. It's a shame. Nice for a project. Broken lid. I think I've just found maybe another bit of something that I found here before. Do you remember? Oh, yeah. Oh, I have another beautiful. piece of this. It's a beautiful. I mean, it would have been stunning, complete. It's a flower. Oh, is that crab shell? <laughs> is it a crab shell? Or is it just a stone? Oh, it just yeah. looks a stone. <laughs> yeah, that's beautiful. And I have another piece. I think I found another bead. We've broken the bead drought. And since we count, yes, a green bead. 21! <laughs> Bead! Yay! <laughs> Yellow one. Oh, that's a nice one. They always remind me of licorice all sorts. Yes. <laughs> Bead! Yay! Oh, oh, and another one! Okay, um, which one do I go for first? I'll go for this one. So, there's a bead there, a white one, and then. Oh, goodness, there's a bead here! 25, we're halfway. Ooh. They're lovely. There's a lot of little blue ones today. Love, there's always blue ones all the time. <laughs> it's a blue beads world and we're just living in it. Yeah. Bead, number 26, a bugle one. Another wonderful arm. Such a good sound. So crunchy. <laughs> Beautiful piece of spongeware. It's not a bead. <laughs> is it an orange bead or is it broken? Oh, nope, it's broken. <laughs> oh, <there's a> <laughs> 
Oh, I... That matches another one that I got. So that does, arms. yeah. So that's 27. 27. Getting there. Yeah, do you want to put it in your Uh-huh. There's a button over there too, somewhere there. <laughs> red watercolour. It's pretty and red and twisted. I'm not sure what it is, but it's a glass twisted red cane. Looks like a red vine or a twizzler. It's not mum's, but it's a glorious worn bottle stop. Ah. Oh. Absolutely love the bottle stops, and this one's a beautiful colour uh, shape and really worn. Amazing. Not not a bead, but a beautiful broken yellow glass, probably gem, I imagine, because there's no hole in it. It's a bit too big to be a cabochon, and like pointy. Oh, gem, I think. That is mother of pearl, but I don't know what. The inlay. Oh yes, but thick, chunky inlay. Ooh. Oh, well, that's have beautiful. To do that one day. There's another button here too. Oh, I love that. <laughs> do we need it? I think we do. I'm going to take it. Yes. What is it? Cutex. So it's nail varnish. Yeah. Wow. And it's so tiny. Ooh, look. <laughs> oh, look. That chandelier. Oh, no, I think it's the top bars. of a decanter. Oh yeah. Beautiful. All the glass lines. Mm. And this, one of these. Oh, this one doesn't even have a hole in it. What's that? Mm. I always think they look like top hats. <laughs> that's really but cute. That's, yeah, yeah, that's it got to be useful for something. <laughs> exactly the same as the yellow one before, but this time cobalt blue. It's the day of the weird glassness. Leafy. This is like another leaf. Look. It's like, a, it's like another leaf. Oh, wow! It looks like aloe vera. We can make some good plants. We can make some amazing plants. The, most of the stuff we found today is for the true garden, isn't it, actually? Yeah. <laughs> hint, hint. It's not that exciting, but it's going to be very good for the doll's house. Oh! <laughs> Goodness. Look at that. That's that's marble, yeah? Yeah, why is it cut? Is it like a sample? It's a tile, I think. It's a tile out of a floor. But that's, yeah. That's lovely. Like a, some sort of Greek, uh, uh, <laughs> again, for the garden. Yep. <laughs> oh, I like that a lot. That is beautiful. <laughs> oh, a beautiful chandelier drop with a, like a... Oh clear section in the middle. That's a nice one. That's a really nice one actually. Monday. Oh wow. That one's quite nice, isn't it? Yeah, that's a lovely one. It's not battered. I want to make a chandelier. <laughs> milk glass, isn't it? Well, milk glass, but it says Simon something. Simon. Simon. Creme. Simon's Remedy? Simon's Creme. Oh, Simon's oh that's quite nice. That is quite nice, isn't it? Yeah, Sorry. they're just lying there. The insulator, is it complete? The it's doorbell, light. isn't it? Light or light switch, light. yeah. Oh, yeah, I put it in my bag. I quite like that. Quite, it's lovely. Oh, it's not got anything like that. No. Might be a tiny foot. <laughs> not sure. There's only a four toed. <laughs> That is a beautiful 1920s bottles with part label and with that beautiful baker light lid, but it is way too heavy to carry. They have too far to walk. Leave that for someone else. A nice piece of marble. Again for the doll's house garden, possibly, or something, or a mantelpiece, actually. Actually, that would make a good fireplace mantelpiece. Huh. What's that poking out, out of the... A teapot spout. You can tell it's broken and that's a shame because it looks really beautiful. Oh. Oh, is that a bead? Yeah, it would have been. Oh. It's broken in half. Look at that. That would have been still beautiful. amazing. Yeah. 
be good for us oh. in that Yeah. I love when the tops of bottles do this. It's perfectly cut itself off to just be a glass green ring. Brilliant. broken stopper or top of a cool it's a lovely though glass faceted finial wow that's beautiful some blue watercolor or paint look you see it coming off on my fingers it's a very nice cog I'll take that cog very good condition. Oh, this is a Belkanite. <laughs> What's that one? Oh, put my glasses on. I think it says Courage and Co. Brewery London. Head of Courage Brewery. <laughs> That's like a half to shade of... Oh, it's broken. That would have been beautiful, though. Art Deco. I think we saw it at the same time. Did, but you were there. Ah! <laughs> oh. oh. She could be quite, uh, peeking around a the corner there. Yeah. Ah! <laughs> oh. Another little bottle with some contents. I take the lid, but I don't really want to separate them. And there's a dimply vulcanite. We're just stuck in a. <laughs> It's a shame, really. It's quite a cute jar, but I'm never getting that out. Might be Mika. Is that Mika? Mika? Oh, yes, it is. Very fragile. Full length mirror. Yeah. <laughs> Bead 28. It's 28. Yeah. That's a beautiful orange one. It's lovely. Metal fly button. That's, I think that says something. Cool, I'll look that up. Some of the marble here is truly beautiful, but really heavy. Look at that piece. That's lovely. Mm. Looks like a very cute little bottle, but it's screw drop. Has it got anything on it? No. Next to a little milk bottle. Sixties shoe, maybe. <laughs> Very tiny feet. <sighs> that's a shame that that's slightly curved. It would have been quite nice for the project, but it's curved. <laughs> hey, with pickle jar. Weird. <laughs> Blue. Well, that was the second film we made that day. Um, yeah, there's quite a lot of colourful pieces of glass. Yes. <laughs> it's very bright and pretty. Um, we took on board the, the people who said that we kept not picking up the pretty glass, so we thought we'd pick up some of the prettier bits of glass. Mm -hmm. And we do have a specific project in mind for these pieces down here. The big pieces, yeah. yeah. And, and I found something really cool. Yes. <laughs> so, you, so you have to ask. What's your favourite brand? <laughs> it's my tiny little stopper. It's 
mad it's so tiny which is for us the, the best thing it can mm -hmm. be that the fact that it's so tiny and it's blue we've only ever found one blue one before and and that one's not blue all the way through also it won't it come out. out of the ink uh, bottle okay. that's like a coated blue isn't it yeah like it's flash glass yeah, clear inside as you can see from the bottom that one is actually blue. <laughs> and you said it was from a Lalique bottle. It's from a Lalique. So mum on the day um, knew that Nui, how would you, how do you pronounce it? I'm not even going to try and butcher it and try and say it in French accent. It means uh, night in French and obviously sans we should have clicked on. But obviously sans means without because we've adopted that word into our own language, yeah. haven't we? As we have done with a lot of French words. So, sans la nuit, obviously le, if we'd thought about it. <laughs> we do know that le means the, but it means without the night. Which is quite a very romantic yes. name, isn't it, for a perfume? And, yeah. and I'm sure Kate put a picture of what they look like, but they were just like little round blue bottles and in varying sizes, and I presume this was the smallest, the smallest. size. And it's got a moon on it too. Which is weird because you said does it have a moon. I know. <laughs> Why did you, you say that? Because you can get stoppers that have moons on, like yeah. moon faces. Oh, and I've seen them been... and they're glorious. But yeah, it's just the world's tiniest bottle stop. And is also cobalt blue. It's just... With writing. It's yes. It's incredible. Just... Amazing. Stunning. I, yeah, it's my favourite stopper. Ever. Ever, yep. It's cobalt blue. It is cobalt blue. Very, very rare. <laughs> yes, incredible, the rarest colour stopper. And with writing. I know. And tiny. And will go in the doll's house on yeah. a perfume bottle. Yeah. Incredible. Two worn stoppers. What was your favourite find though? It would have been my fish bead if it had if it had had a head. Unfortunately, it doesn't. Still might use it as a fish in fish the doll's in house. In a bowl. Yeah. yeah. Even without its head. <laughs> well, I could make a head um, for it. Maybe, yeah. But now I suppose my favourite find is probably... Beautiful leaf. My beautiful leaf hat pin. And it's so delicate and glass and thin and detailed and yeah, We've put together a few, but we need more hat pins. We do. Smaller ones. Smaller hat pins, yeah, because that would have been on a small one like that one, wouldn't it? Yeah. Even, Even thinner, one, yeah, maybe, the, yeah. The hole for the pin is tiny. I do also really like um, my little flower shaped bead, which I'm going to turn into a little succulent. Yeah, into a well, tiny little terracotta pot. Be adorable. I like my marble. Yes, the marble is lovely. It is very worn. But you can see, you can see where the pontal was ground off, and you can see the wisps. What are they called inside? It's like lattice, but it's not lattice. They're just curly wisps, and it's a beautiful sort of turquoise teal going into. Yeah, I haven't seen one that lemon colour. cream. No, and half clear. Yeah, I've not seen a marble like this. No, I've certainly never found one. It looked really lovely just on the shore, didn't it? Did. It, it was very. Yeah, it's got Tempting. <laughs> bubbles in it too. That'll add to the marble collection nicely. I found a hat pin too, which is on the end of this one now. Looks like a smarty. It really does. One of those ones that when you get it wet and the colour starts to dissolve out. Yeah, yeah, see. On the bottom where the... Yeah, it's lovely. A couple of these things. Mm, they're, they're beautiful, but I don't know. I suppose they would have been inlays of bracelets, maybe? Yeah, or pendants. They're lovely, though. They are beautiful. Very Art Deco and beautiful colours. Mm, many a bead. Many, many beads. Beautiful coloured beads. Another wonderful... Didn't reach 50, though, did we? No, but I think <laughs> we found enough. <laughs> <laughs> the beautiful pressed glass check ones, and we do You've have got, blue I think ones. it's on the beach stream. It is, it? yes, just there. So get the no, we'll, we'll, we'll film it. We'll film it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, a matching one, but red this time. Yeah. Lots of other beads, 
Some lovely buttons. Can you work out what this one said? Something B Merchant. Unfortunately, it's a bit corroded. A southern Rail button. A doll's arm, which we'll be turning back into. Oh, no. We'll be turning back into a doll. Some lovely spoons. This one is very, very sharp. sharp. <laughs> um, some wonderful pieces of marble. Mm. So you've got marble tesserae. Um, this piece, which, as Mum said in the film, is going to make a really good mantelpiece, probably in the master bedroom of the doll's house. Mm. Very fancy. <laughs> <laughs> and then this, which is just exquisite. It's so rainy. I don't know what, I'm trying to think what, I don't know, some sort of Grecian columned thing in the garden yeah. maybe, but the garden's not or, that big, is it? <laughs> yeah, or the top of something. Yeah. Yeah, it's really lovely. It would have been an amazing floor, I think. It would have been. <laughs> Probably would have hurt your eyes a bit too. Possibly. <laughs> <laughs> Half a doll's face, she's still got a blue eye. So she's almost can be like poking around a corner or something. Um, What's that? Simon's creme. Milk glass. I see a cream pot. <laughs> Um, chandelier, drop, a couple of other glass things. I'm thinking maybe if we build a wardrobe in the master bedroom, this can go on top, oh. like a hat. <laughs> um, this thing, which I said that I'd found another part of on that beach on a day months and months, like possibly a year ago, um, but they don't match up. <laughs> so, could have been like a Unless it's, it's like, it's like really had, big. Yeah, and yeah, it had something in, in the middle. But how crazy that I found those possibly years apart. Mm. Such a shame, it would have been such a beautiful thing. Mm. Yeah, mainly beads. So mainly beads. A oh, little huge, um, beautiful bit of tin glaze. Probably a plate, right? Yeah, oh, like a charger. Yeah. That would have been massive. A little Optrex now varnish bottle. Cutex. Cutex. <laughs> Optrex is eyes. Yep. <laughs> okay, mica. Yep, some more mica. This one's a bit more grubby. <laughs> this one's always golden. Mm. Wow. And thank you for all of your comments telling us all sorts of uses they had for this and lots of stuff about mica. How to pronounce it and how to pronounce it properly. <laughs> that was very helpful. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, I suppose there's not really much more to say. Just beautiful beads. Lots, 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 lots of beads. Yes. <laughs> so we hope you enjoyed. We think it's going to be a shorter film next week because we are on holiday. It's a film that we had because we didn't have time to go out and make another Mudlarking film. But we were quite excited about it. So yeah, it was a strange landscape. It was, yes. A very strange landscape. And there is going to be a crafting film going up on our second channel um, on Monday. We have to say a massive thank you to everyone that likes and subscribes. We reached 22,000 22, subscribers and it's absolutely incredible and that is all thanks to you and we just, yes, we really appreciate it and it means a lot, so thank you very much. And of course, all of your wonderful comments, which we do read every single one of them, and yeah, we very much appreciate it. It's a wonderful community to be a part of. And we also have to say a massive thank you to our Patreons. And we will be trying to get a film up soon, probably after our holiday. Yeah, it's been a bit hard recently because you've been working a lot. I have been you, working so. a lot, but that is over now. Um, over now, for now, <laughs> for the moment. <laughs> so we will try and make some more Patreon content and make, you know... Get some mudlarking Get some more mudlarking, go mudlarking some more, which is always, you know, what I secretly want to be doing. <laughs> so we hope you have a wonderful rest of the week and we will see you soon. Bye! Bye! Bye.